Hi, this is Jim. Welcome to Embroiderware. Embroiderware is a simple to use embroidery digitizing software for the home user. Um, it has a very simple interface, very simple commands. Um, they start out with drawing lines, curves, curve col line columns, or curve columns. So when you draw a line, however you want to draw it, when you're finished, hit right mouse button. Uh, it will instantly turn into single stitches. From single stitches, you can change it into other things. So you can change it into a chain stitch. You can change into what I call a hand stitch. You can change it into a fill. Now you can also do curve lines, which require four points, because these are curves, which have four points. And again, it's just like a line, it turns into a running stitch, and you can turn it into those other things. Um, we also have a satin stitch, which we can draw just lines. And we can choose one of the options to be satin. When you do satin, it ends up being a satin. Now, you can do a satin directly without actually drawing a line and then changing it to a satin by actually doing a line column which actually is just a satin but it's defined with um, edge points defining the column and when you're done with that you end up having a satin column in various shapes curve satins are the same sort of thing so if you have more points to define the curve column You have the ability to draw and then just continue to draw. So if we want to draw and we want to go to a column stitch right after that, we can do that. It's going to be a word column. And so we have that. Um, we have the ability to actually see the stitch out in a movie form. So in this sequence, it's stitching out in the sequence that I drew it. You can change the sequences by simply choosing the object in the object browser and moving it up in the list. You notice that the jump lines move around. You can do fills by starting with the same sort of graphic, and then you just change the graphic into a fill. At any point, you can change the graphic back into anything else you want. So I got a fill there. I can change it back to a single stitch. Um, basically, everything is driven off the graphics. You have the ability to do text. You choose any font you want. Uh, basically, the text turns into a line graphic where you can use that as well for fill. And now we have that filled. Embroidery can also do some fancy lettering, uh, lettering that's based off of embroidery designs that are digitized. So if we had to do an arc, let's say, and then we wanted to actually turn this into lettering, a little different than text in that it's using predefined letterings. So we have letterings that's related to satins, satin lettering. So if we say, hi, how are you? We would end up getting that as the result. Now, the neat thing is, is that this is actually following the graphics. So if you just wanted to do a simple text, you would use a straight line because you wouldn't want to actually have it distort. So preventing it from distorting. You can do other kinds of text. There's a couple different um, text um, lettering styles in the install of Embroidery Where there will be more on the website. So we can say, hi, you. And now the text is actually straight. Um, there's some spacing that you can adjust 
too as well. Um, what's neat about the text uh, is since it's it, it's imposed on this line or this curved object, you can actually distort it in various ways you want. Not that you would want to do that, but uh, you can do various things with it. This can be kind of fun to play with, and you can have some really neat effects. And the last thing I want to show you is patterns along the line. So patterns along the line was the original reason for starting embroideryware. That's why when you go to my YouTube page, it's called Hand Stitch. It was actually meant to simulate a special hand stitch, like a bean stitch or other kinds of stitches. So um, basically the stitches get and follow the curve. So we have some built-in stitches already in the program. So you do actually what's called the stitch pattern. And then you choose the stitch pattern you're interested in. So in this case, we're going to do some candle wicking. So now you have candle wicking stitch along the line. But what's really neat is you can do any stitch you want to design. So if you want to design a stitch that um, is your own, let's say we do something like um, something in the shape of an arrow. I'm not completely doing this arrow great. All right, that wasn't what I wanted to do. An arrow, <laughs> we'll figure this out. I will do an arrow, I promise. All right, so we do an arrow stitch, which in this case could look like a leaf once you impose it on the line. So we're just going to copy this to stitches, and then we're going to simply paste the stitches to our object. And now you can see it's turned into something that looks like a leaf. Um, you can have a lot of fun with this, uh, designing your own designs. Uh, also, I might have some designs on the website that you can download um, in the store. Uh, right now, the program has a few of them in there. Uh, just as examples. We have a geometric pattern, which is kind of a key shape. We have some quilting patterns, which are sort of interesting. And I had the wheat, which I've already kind of shown you. So thank you for watching my introduction video. Uh, there's plenty of other videos on my YouTube channel, which you can click the link above. Um, download Embroideryware, enjoy it. Uh, let me know how you like it. I really had a good time writing the program, and it's really meant to uh, satisfy a market for the do-it-yourself user. Um, it's not a really extremely advanced program, but it is fun to use, and I think you'll enjoy it. So again, go to my website to see more about it, embroideryware.software.com, and links up above, and download the program and have fun with it. Thank you.